No matter what therapies you offer, how excellent your cancer treatments are, there is no way in the world that you have lasting results if you ignore deficiencies. Minerals, vitamins, phytonutrients, amino acids and enzymes, they are the repair, they are the building blocks, they are the nutrients your body needs to do the repair. When you think about how a simple deficiencies of good oils for the brain, of some minerals for the immune system can impair the whole system, can really reverse that you can hardly get along, well then how do you expect your body from doing the repair, from fixing, from restoring, from dealing with cancer cells and gobbling them all up? Well, it's almost impossible. It's like running a marathon and expecting your exhausted body to do that extra work. It just doesn't work. You know, some of the patients, when, when you realize how weakened they are and then you expect them to do a repair, just doesn't work. For patients to truly heal, they need all the building material to fix and mend, 50 to 100 times more oxygen and all the nutrients for all the different systems, cardiovascular system, for all the hepatic system, the renal system, all of those have different specific needs to work properly. And if that's what I try to achieve, well then supplementation is really, really crucial. We've seen so many patients trying so much and dealing with all the cancer treatments, but lacking in base minerals, lacking in base vitamins. And if that's the case, it's like so hopeless. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a waste of time. You literally ask your immune system to fix and repair the damage without providing the tools, building materials, the nutrition and the energy for them to do so. That's why proper supplementation is the key to any success. Now I know many of you might say, well, we eat a rainbow and we take all the nutrients in, but it's not quite that easy anymore. And the problem is usually that the food that we get is depleted beyond. It's ripened in the warehouse. They, they pick everything before it's ripe. So no sunshine, no nutrients from the ground. It's all missing. And then they put it into a warehouse and it's ripened on demand. And that is where it's lacking all the minerals and nutrients, despite all the other things, you know, to keep it fresh and to, you know, you see my jiggles over here, all the packaging and all the fumigations, plus GMO, plus all the toxins. So let's just ignore that for a fact. Just lacking the minerals and the nutritional value is already enough. Now, if you have toxins, you need nutrients to flush out toxins, to feed your immune system to do with the repair. They are neurotoxins. Then you have here infections. Your immune system need to fight, need to deal, and you don't give your soldiers enough food, enough minerals, enough whatever to do the job, then they can't do it. That's why this is such an important piece to make everything else work. Did you know that when you have stress that your nutritional consumption is doubled and it doesn't get absorbed. So it's really something we need to deal on much more multifaceted level. And that's what I'm going to show you today. See, we've been visiting a lot of doctors, a lot of practitioners, and everybody has a few gems, but very few put it all together. And I found that one of the most frustrating things, you find doctors that give the best cancer treatments in the world, but haven't checked the mineral status of a patient whereas others do it really well. And this is where you can see the difference. I've been in Switzerland and you know, my, one of my favorite doctors is Dr. Rao. He has a very dil had a diligent protocol. He's unfortunately retired. But you know, every patient that came in was getting a complete evaluation of all the different minerals and nutrients that the body needs. And then the nurse packed up all the packages. And that's what I will share with you as a business idea. And if you want to pick up on that, I can send you thousands of clients because this is really great to rocket fuel your patients. I'll talk about that in a moment. We also look at some of the causes that deplete the body. I call them thieves that steal all the minerals and nutrients, which is certainly not what we want. Welcome back to 
Truly Heal and our functional medicine training for health professionals where I'd like to give you an overview how to treat the patient and more or less ignore the disease, <laughs> you know, not get entangled into cancer treatment because by helping a patient to restore back health, you can make such a massive difference and you don't go into legal complications and treating cancer, but you still do. And that's what we like to look at today. Now, recap and preview, very simple. Last video, we looked at diet based on the patient's need, not based on my beliefs, not based on what works for one and might not work for 20 others. We need to look at how to deal with one patient and how to implement all their systemic weaknesses and strength into the ideal diet for them. And then we look today into the nutritional value, how we can help them. And I will give you some base minerals, those which we found most crucial and also most important to check. Poison and remedy, if you have too much and if you have too little. So we need to work out a golden middle and how to support that well and how to test that well. And I know nutrition is a very complex subject. You know, without the app, I would be hopelessly lost. It's very complex to say it at the least. And I found that when we started out, you know, I'm an architect. So when we started out to research, you find hundreds of articles about all those different supplements and they cure cancer and this cures cancer and resveratrol does it. And then Curcetin, and it was just like, oh, and then you find the research to it, and then you find the nutritional value, and then you find the deficiencies, and then you realize your immune system needs this, your white blood cells and your immune system needs that, and then your hepatic system needs something different, and how they all connected, how this whole thing fits into one program, that was my job. And that's what you found in that straight lines, you know, my, 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 my mind map, that's how I had to build it. So when you go through the mind map, you will find in inflammation all the different things that are related in regards to supplementation towards inflammation, what it causes, the deficiencies, how you treat it. So inflammation contains supplementation and nutrition. But also when you go through your detoxification, you will realize that we talk about minerals and everything that is related to detox pathways. So sometimes it doubles up, but that was the only way I managed to keep a clear mind and keep it focused and know what I talk about when I look at the app. And that's what I would like to show you today in a very, very simple example. Now, my idea for you as a business to start right away and have a lineup of hundreds of clients. Well, you need to understand nutritional values. But what we found is that eating the rainbow takes about 80% of the pills and the supplements and the nutritional values straight to the toilet. And only 20%, 10 to 20% are absorbed. Now, if you do IV treatments, it really makes a difference. In Switzerland, the nurse, I never forget, she had a big drawer with all those different remedies, all the different minerals, vitamins, everything. So she took a bag, a saline solution or sodium bicarbonate, and then she injected all of those minerals into the bag. And then Jennifer got her drip. And it was based on her results, all the, nutri uh, the nutritional value was given to, def uh, to, to, to replenish her deficiencies. And you could see the difference within a matter of two days, you know, like dragging in, being tired, being exhausted, hardly functioning, couldn't focus, couldn't concentrate, pain, Boom, like rocket fuel, you know, like really starting a patient from scratch, such a difference. And then you go to another clinic and what they do is vitamin C and glutathione and artemisinin and lytral, and they pump all those anti-cancer remedies into the body and don't even know whether the rest works. So instead of looking at deficiencies, they try to kill the cancer, what we said, Dealing with the patient instead of dealing with the disease. A huge difference. And all of a sudden your body can work, can function, can repair, can address the cancer. And then you add those little bits of cancer treatment on top and you will see you have much better results. So dealing with a patient that is so deficient is much wiser if you replenish them well. 
Now let's look very short. I won't go through all of them. What is obvious why we are deficient? Okay, first of all, the soil doesn't have the nutrients and therefore we are deficient. That's number one. That then we have excessive sweating. You leach out a lot of minerals and vitamins. Diarrhea in, out, no time to absorb. Vomiting in the same way. Before it even gets into the small intestine, it comes back out. So that's no absorption. Breastfeeding and pregnancy, the next two, are really, you know, you need to feed another person. If you're depleted, you leach out the last bits into the baby, and that's what we often see as postnatal depression, really breakdown of the immune system after you feed the baby, because you give everything, it's, it's built into nature to give the next generation everything it needs. And if you're depleted, the baby will be depleted. And then you start a whole cycle of, of evolution, which is really not good. And then we have menstruation, all bleeding, and diabetes, frequent urination. They're pretty logical to understand. Now let's look at some that are not quite as logical. Number one, we have, as you have inflammation in your gut, dysbiosis in the gut, all of that, your food won't be broken down. If you have wrong acidosis, if you have a wrong pH value, then your bacteria don't work, your enzymes don't work, which means the food is not properly broken down and you can't absorb. If your gut wall, you know, your small intestine lining is inflamed, again, no absorption of nutrients or very little. So all of those things impair. And that means no matter what kind of healthy food, you remember last time I said give a weak person that is completely you know, lack of energy, give them um, a raw food diet. Hey, great. <laughs> they blow it up, they can't absorb, and they get worse. So cooking food, making it easy digestible so that they take up the nutrients and hook them up to an IV or give them some very nurturing sublingual supplements that can be absorbed easy will be much more help. Low HCL, Heavy metals, we'll talk about them in a moment. Stress, low digestive enzymes, same problem again. Medications, and then we have very obvious ones like sugar leaches out magnesium, potassium, chromium, and uh, calcium. Osteoporosis, caffeine, diuretic, and acidifies. Uh, tissue acidosis, the same thing. Toxins, fellow here. Lack of sunshine, vitamin D. And DNA snips if you have inherited DNA polymorphisms, which means you can't even absorb nutrients right from start. Heavy metals prevent absorption. See, we look at, number one, we don't get them in. But then you also have already problems inside your body. Let's say your mouth was filled with mercury. All those mercury vapors were absorbed into the cell. Now, Let's say this is a little mercury or arsenic or aluminium or lead particle. Now, if it's extracellular floating in your plasma, you can easily bind it, catch it. Just modified citrus pectin, alginates, all of those things, lead, uh, um, uh, clay, charcoal, all of that binds, zeolite, and then you can eliminate that out of your system. Once they've dogged on onto the cell membrane, and they have like key locks, and every cell has nutrient channels, potassium, iron, glucose channels, and waste channels. So if your zinc, arsenic, aluminium, or lead has dogged on, it's like stuck. It's holding on to it. So without using PEMF, pulse electromagnetic fields, to shake it loose, those membranes are blocked, which means your cell doesn't get selenium, zinc, iron, iodine, doesn't get manganese, iron, manganese, zinc, you know, it's always the same thing. And all of them block zinc. And zinc is so important. So when your cell can't get all the nutrients it needs, then it can't function properly. And that's why when it gets into the cell, let's say it gets through the channel and it gets into the cell, that's when it destroys the cell nuclei, the, 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 the mitochondria, the ATP production, and then the cell starts fermenting instead of producing LTP, which then starts the cancer cycle. So getting rid of toxins, getting rid of heavy metals is what we talk about next. But I just wanted to show you the correlation that if you have already a heavy metal poisoning, it's directly linked to the absorption and 
how your body can utilize minerals. So let's look at one of those minerals, zinc. And I just used two. I show you a map afterwards of the most common ones that we use all the time, especially when we deal with cancer. But zinc is certainly a very important. You realize it was in video one where we talked about feeding your immune system, giving it all the guns. And now it allows heavy metal accumulation. So I'll talk in the next video about it again. Nervous system depletion, poor concentration, foggy head, ticks, twitches, pure immunity, digestive system and enzyme production. If it stops enzyme production, then you can't absorb nutrients in food. So it's one mineral missing and therefore your body starts to go into that spiral. One missing leads to more absorption problems and gets less and less. And that's why we need to deal with those things because when you are in such a level, healing is not possible. And this is what you will find as soon as you start dealing with that subject and address it in your clinical approach, your patients will have much faster recovery. Zinc as a tumor suppressor agent in cancer prevention is supported by abundant experimental and clinical studies for esophagus cancer, sublingual you know, mouth cancer, which is quite regular now, uh, prostate cancer and colon cancer. And there's plenty of studies to support that. And I won't go through all the rest. You get the gist. It's an important mineral that we need. In the same way, iodine. Iodine, I was so iodine deficient. And it's again, same thing. It flushes out mercury. So I had a very severe heavy metal mercury poisoning. And my sink was down. My, my iodine was really rock bottom. I was worse than this one. And only once I started to replenish, only once I built my whole system back up, I could release mercury. I could release the toxins. So we'll talk about that in our detox profile again, but you realize it's directly linked. It also has to do with tumor cyst formation, immunity compromised. Again, your immune system needs that as a support and help. Learning behavioral disorders, iodine was presented um, as a possible anti-proliferative agent for mammary gland in 2005. And that's when it started when women were using it on the breast, using iodine or Lugol solution uh, directly onto the breast to be absorbed because it helped with those inflamed or cancerous cells because it stops that proliferation of cancer growth. So is it important to check? I believe so. And that's why this is a little bit of our mind map. That's the basic map to look at. And these are really crucial facts like magnesium, zinc, selenium, iodine in regards to minerals. Now for them to be absorbed into the system, you just can't give zinc. It's not absorbed without B6 or B3. Or uh, here um, we, have, we have ascorbic acid, a vitamin C. So we need certain other nutrients as synergistic nutrients for that to be absorbed. In the same way, you've probably seen many cancer advertisements, you know, like the, the famous ones, Rosveratrol, or here the uh, sulforaphane kills cancer cells. I wouldn't call it as a cancer treatment. I would call it as a building block for your body to have that immunity to defend against the disease to work. So using those phytonutrients as a support for your immune system while these are replenished, replenished in your system, that's when the whole thing falls into place. Not one does the job. It's the synergistic element of all of them together, which then can deal with disease much better. So let me show you very short in the app how we set the same thing up so that you can look up very easily, very sophisticated, everything you need to know. Let's just click on deficiencies and open up the page. And then you can see here vitamins, minerals, digestive enzymes, amino acids, fatty acids, phytonutrients, and cellular membrane, which is very important because the membrane, if it doesn't have the potential to release toxins, to take up nutrients, nothing works. So it's something that we use different techniques to mobilize and activate. Now, minerals, we open up minerals. 
and then let's just go into selenium for example to show you what's in there and you can see the first one is functions coenzyme in the enzymes glutathione peroxidase antioxidant activity antitumogenic effects antiviral effects do i want that yes i need that strong I, um, glutathione is your master antioxidant. It defends the body from re free radicals, from inflammation, from everything. So it's really important to have that. It also protects your healthy cells against invasion from infections, from bacteria, fungi, mold. So it's something that I definitely need together with catalase and other enzymes. And that's why selenium is so important. Implications of low selenium, then drug interactions, then we have here supplementation, sources, what you can eat as a food to supplement or as a supplementation. But then let me just go down. Synergistic nutrients. You need vitamin B3, C, E, coenzyme Q10, cysteine, glutathione, methionine, zinc and iodine in adequate levels for selenium to be absorbed. And that's why compounding supplements is such an important thing that you get enough good values and i we have a few practitioners that do that in form of powders they make a package for a patient to get all those base minerals and vitamins combined and they feed that but if you can do it via drip it's just so much faster and so much more effective and again we have here metal antagonist if i have no selenium i cannot flush out silver arsenic cadmium mercury tallium lead reacts with selenium significantly lowers tissue concentration of the mineral so knowing those factors really will make a difference when you get a test result oh we need to like that 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 and then build a program around that and even if you don't supplement, if you don't prescribe supplementation, if you don't do that directly, you can help a client work with a practitioner and check what they do and see if they are in good hands. <laughs> it's, and you can see research and abstract, it's all there. And that's not just for one, it's for all minerals, vitamins. You can just go through the whole lot. No matter which one you open up, you can see functions, implications of low supplementation cofactors and increased factors sources synergistic nutrients tests and research it's always there now let me just go very short into something that a lot of people have asked marcus you say it's a targeted cancer treatment so let's go back into the whole system and we open up cancer treatments right at the bottom and it's like always our last slide i want everybody to fix everything else and then we add cancer protocols and then you will see that they work so much better. And then we have immune modulating therapies in here, natural anti-cancer remedies, energy medicine, medical treatments, accompanied treatments, and then specialized cancer tests. So if we just look into immune modulating therapies, immune modulating, I call it the clubs for our, my immune system, then you can see here that there is a whole range from medical mushrooms, beta-glucan, iscador, GCMF, MGN, vitamin C, astaxanthin, aloe vera, all of them there. And all of them, if you open up with all the different types of cancers, what kind of treatments, supplementation, research, research, abstract, so that it's right at your fingertips. And this is something that has helped me many times when clients come with ideas and they find something on the internet and then they would like to know what do I do is this something that could help me and then you can see is it related to their type of cancer are all the base functions already established to start killing off cancer then we have natural anti-cancer remedies and again we have a whole list all of them are with research studies all of them are set up and you see papaya leaf, artemisinin, salvestrol, curcumin, resveratrol. You see the ones that I uh, talked about, green tea before, uh, phytonutrients, halen, laetrol, dim, you know, cannabis, a whole range. And then you can see here, zinc and selenium listed as a cancer treatment, what they are used for, supplementation, selenium, and then research, 
research, abstract, it's all there. And this makes you look very professional, like me, you know, I can cheat my way out, even though I have real problems even to pronounce those complicated words. But it allows you to focus on the client's needs instead of just targeting blindly cancer and hoping you get results. Okay, let's go back to the slideshow and move on to a preview what we talk about next time. Functional medicine is a very systematic approach. We look at weaknesses in the body, weaknesses in organs, weakness in systemic processes. And as we find them, we help the patient to overcome. Many times nutrition and supplementation plays a big part. We can use nutrition and supplementation to reduce inflammation, but we also need to stop the real trigger. If you have dysbiosis in the gut, if you have gut bacteria or uh, food sensitivities and we don't stop them, well, then none of the treatments will work. If you have food sensitivities and you have arthritis and everything, I can give you all the anti-inflammatories, anti but they don't work. So we need to reduce the real root cause. And if you come up with the name, I'm still looking the the origin of the root cause or whatever. We really dig deeper, not just superficial and take then that. And that which brings us for our next treatment, uh, for our next um, work video to a subject that is really crucial. I said today, you can't have results without dealing with deficiencies. I believe the next one fits that statement triple. You cannot succeed if you do not help a patient to detoxify. And let me just give you a short preview. We have toxins, all the petrochemicals, pharmaceuticals, chemicals. Then we have carcinogens, all the different heavy metals. There's plenty of toxins in our environment, in our daily life that we have to deal with. And then there is all the toxins that are produced by, for example, bacteria in our mouth, root canals, cavitations, dysbiosis, gut bacteria, pathogenic bacteria, anaerobic bacteria. Then we have Helicobacter pylori, known. We have virus load. We have Lyme disease. All of those things, they produce a high toxic load, thioethers and, 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 and um, neurotoxins that our body has to deal with. And that means liver pathways, kidney pathways, skin, you know, lungs, all the different detox pathways need to work. What if they don't? What if there is an impairment? What if you build up more and more and more and more toxicity until you fall over? That's what we look at. See, it should actually not say toxins, it should say detoxification, because that is the subject I would like to address in my next video, so that we can give our clients a fighting chance and really help them to resolve the problem that triggers all of the other diseases and symptoms they might experience. If you're intrigued to work with us, join our professional team, well, Click the link in the video or underneath. I put the link underneath and fill out a form. I've created a little questionnaire where I would like to hear your dreams. What would you like to do? Not everybody wants to treat patients. Some of you might want to educate. Some of you might want to share information, train people, help them build a, a community. There are so many different ways you can, in, uh, can get involved. And that's why let me know your aspiration. Let me know your dreams. And then we can work out a plan together. If you want to pick me up on my idea with those nutritional clinics, we can definitely send heaps of patients to you. If that works out as a business plan, that is a dream. Also, if you fill out the form and then you say, okay, this is not quite for me. That's maybe too much. Well, no hard feelings. Maybe if you fill out some of the questions, I might say, you might not be the right fit. But we can only find out once you fill out the form. So click below as well as um, sending me the form. You will get in return all the slides and all the transcript from those videos from the whole series as well. Okay? 
And now, leave a comment underneath this video or on YouTube, and I'm very excited to get back to you with comments and answers and explanations if I have left things out.